All right, welcome back to uh, another episode uh, with me, Luke. Uh, I hope you had a fantastic week. So in today's video, we're going to jump straight into the Bitcoin price. As you can see, it's at 51K. And if you've been following my channel, then yeah, I've been talking about this. It looks like uh, it's it's rolling over, which I mentioned, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, so let's look at uh, two scenarios. If you want to go short, if you want to go long, of course. And just a disclaimer, read the description in the link below. None of this is financial advice. It's just for educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the chart. I haven't actually done any technical analysis uh, on this today, so I thought maybe I'm going to do it uh, during the video so that you can see uh, what uh, I uh, do uh, when I look at the technical. So I'm going to be very it's going to be very similar to my last uh, videos because not a lot has happened in terms of the price. It's been pretty uh, sideways. But having said that, though, it does look like we are uh, rolling over right now, but Bitcoin is refusing to give up um which is i mean a, a strong sign for for the bulls um if we do break below i think the 50,570 level then yeah we could be going uh, a lot lower so where could we go so i'm going to give you the the bearish short term and also the bullish so just to be objective so let's start with the bearish uh, situation so yeah it looks like we are rolling over like uh, i said in one of my previous videos and if you go to the four hour time frame you can clearly see as well the double top here this uh, m pattern that we formed i did post this a few days ago on my twitter you have the link to my twitter just uh, below as well and I posted it on I posted it on uh, YouTube as well, and then I did speak about it. So we do have this double top now. Of course, um, the trend at the moment is bullish. We have been going up uh, over the last weeks, a couple of months, uh, quite significantly. So the trend is your friend to the end. No doubt you've heard that expression many times in uh, crypto. So could we be uh, going uh, a lot higher? Well. Again, Bitcoin refuses to give up, but just looking at uh, the going back to the daily time frame, first of all, let's just auto fit this. OK, so the retracement on the Fibonacci, if we take it from the low, the local low here to the local top, um, I'm looking at a retracement of the 0 0.382 level, even the 0.5 level. So we could retrace back into here. Again, it wouldn't surprise me as well if uh, we do come back down into this. Uh, now we've got this huge support uh, hovering between 42,000 to 43 and a half. So we've got this huge support here. If we did, if we do go down, um, what would that be? That would be a decrease. If we just hit the 0 0.38 level, just as a, an example, it would be a 7%. The 0 0.5 would be 10%. And the 618 level will be 15, almost yeah, 14%. Uh, percent. So if we hit anywhere between the 0 0.38 or the 0 0.5, then if you want to go long, this could be another step higher to our price target of that $60,000 level. So short term, it's looking like it's rolling over. This doesn't make me bearish at all. I'm a long term bull. I've been saying this a lot on my channel. We're going to that $100,000 uh, mark this uh, year. So uh, again, that's just my own opinion. Let me know where you think Bitcoin is going in the short term and also in the long term, where do you think we're going to see uh, Bitcoin at uh, later this uh, year? So I'm always interested in what you guys uh, think. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for the downside. So yeah, the retracement around the 0.382, the 0.5, um, would be around the forty-six thousand eight nine hundred dollar level, where we could put a little uh, long in to see if we have that bounce uh, just off it. So, bearing in mind we are getting closer to that uh, big Bitcoin event in a few weeks' time, so a lot of I expect a lot of volatility uh, in the market as we get closer um, to the Bitcoin halving. So. What about uh, the bullish situation? Well, let's again, let's just take this. Uh, let's go to the, uh, let's check. The, I like the four hour. 
chart. I always like to do my technical analysis on the four hour chart. I don't know why, I just prefer it. So if we're looking at this, maybe we're seeing a potential, uh, let me just draw this line here and another one here. That lines up not too bad. Let's just move that up slightly. So yeah, it looks like we could be seeing some sort of bull flag forming uh, on the four hourly time frame. And as co of course, Bitcoin is coiling up here. So if we don't drop anytime soon and we keep you know, staying in this uh, range here and it refuses to sell off, then yeah, we could uh, see a potential rise. So this bull flag would take us to $59,130. So that's not too far from our price target of the bullish pennant pattern that I've been talking about on the weekly. Let me just get this back auto fit. Zoom in. There we go. So yeah, this bullish pennant pattern, the target would be uh, 60K here approximately. Of course, I'm not saying it's bang on 60K. It's just uh, an estimation. And of course, if you've been trading this, then congratulations to you. Just make sure you have stop losses. Maybe I even have a trailing stop loss so that if it does reverse, we do come back down to these levels. You can reap the rewards of some profits. So uh, it's always nice to take some profits off the table. One lesson is don't be greedy. If you're in the profits, set a stop loss. Even if you want to stay in that trade, you don't want to do a trading stop loss, just make sure you put a stop loss at your, maybe you're just above your entry price so that you pay for the fees. So don't forget the fees are taken on um, Bybit, other exchanges. Um, so yeah, just make sure uh, you at least break even uh, if it does reverse back on us. But it's always nice to have a trading stop loss so that you take profits uh, along the way. That's what I did back here uh, last year, uh, these two, uh, pumps. I got my training stop loss was a bit too close um, to some of these uh, local tops back then, so I got stomped out. I took profits off the table in both situations, uh, but re really, realistically, I should have left that uh, long trade open uh, because I got in. It wasn't this one, sorry. It was this one, this green candle, and this green candle, and I got in at around here at twenty-two thousand five hundred. Um, and it never, we never came back to that level. So it's a good lesson for myself as well. So if I had stayed in that trade, I would be up 130% with a 5x leverage. So yes, I did take profits, but swing trading again just proves to me if I had stayed in this trade, obviously trading you know, ifs and buts, maybes, etc. Um, 5x leverage, I would have been up six, 700% with this. Uh, swing long position that was going all the way back almost a year ago so that's exactly what I'm trying to highlight in my videos um, that's what I do swing trading I prefer that so I'm just gonna wait for my next uh, big entry price so what I'm doing is I'm waiting for that big dump down if we get that dump of course we might not get that dump but I do expect some volatility to happen around April time maybe even as soon as March and then you get into that nice swing long position with a small leverage maybe two three maximum 5x because you're doing that swing long position and then away we go for the rest of the year i'll leave that then until the end of this year and uh to see what happens because i mean 130 percent um was it 130 percent where i got in it was around here yeah about 130 percent that's nothing in comparison with what we're going to see after the halving so uh, i do expect us to to go at least to 150k for sure 100,000 um, maximum target for me would be 200,000 for this uh, bull cycle but being very conservative I'm saying 100k first and that's where at that point I'll be scaling out of my uh, positions in crypto as soon as I see that six figure um, Bitcoin so yeah so just uh, looking at the short term aspect so we do have this um, bear uh, not bear flag the bull flag is it on the daily as well it's not too bad on the daily uh, but on the four hour time frame I do prefer looking at the four hour I don't know why I just find it easier uh, to look at the four hour time frame and that'll be a nice uh, target of so again if we're going to trade this down or up then just wait for the breakdown or the breakup 
okay, the breakout, I should say. Um, don't jump into, I mean, again, not financial advice, but don't jump into a trade yet. Plus, we're going into the weekend. Nothing really happens over the weekend. If anything, uh, like I've said before, I prefer to see a dump over the weekend so that we form this CME gap. And then nine times out of eight, nine times out of 10, the CME gap gets filled. So if we have that dump, there's a gap just above. So we'll probably shoot back up, fill that gap, and then we'll see where we go. So you'd automatically kind of be in um, a winning uh, position if we see a CME gap uh, down here and you start longing um, next week, as an example. So just wait for the break down or the break out. So what you could do is if you want to uh, trade this down to the level uh, of what, 40, what did I say, 47,000, 48,000, that would be a percentage of maybe 5% that you could get on leverage if you're using 10x, 50%. And if you're waiting for a, a breakout, then the target would be 12%. So again, just use your long position uh, gauge here that we have. We have a short position, long position. So short position, if you want to short this, maybe just wait for that breakdown here. Make sure you have your 1% stop loss here. And then you would trade this down to, yeah, about this these levels around here so that'd be a fight a risk to reward ratio be five to one it's not too not too shabby and then looking at a long position you probably want to wait for that clear breakout above the 52,953 level you've got the one percent stop loss there and then if you trade this up to this price target that's a, a risk to reward ratio of 12 to 1 so again uh, not too bad so the key the key takeaways here is just wait for that uh, break down or break out of the of this um, resistance uh, support here and the resistance line uh, for the bullish uh, flag so that's pretty much it for this week. Again, over on Crypto Bubbles, the altcoins are doing pretty well this week because Bitcoin is taking its breather. And then just jumping over into, I've been looking at gaming tokens and even AI. Just a few quick shout outs to AI. I will jump into AI uh, maybe in the next couple of weeks. I'm looking at uh, the graph. I think the graph is going to do pretty well this year. Fetch.ai, Singularity as well. Uh, Ocean Protocol, Gollum. Uh, I've just bought some more Flux. Uh, I bought Flux a few weeks back. That's been been going up uh, pretty well. Uh, uh, Pal AI, or is it P-A-L-A-I, whatever, Pal. Um, looking at this. And what else have I been looking at? Oh, yeah, IQ. Uh, as well and, and others but there's just yeah just a quick shout out to AI I think AI will really perform well this cycle we had a little AI pump last year uh, but I expect AI and gaming to do uh, wonders uh, this uh, bull run this the next Bitcoin cycle so let me know what you think in the comment section below I will be back with you probably Monday next week so enjoy your weekend guys make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below also if you could um, smash that uh, thumbs up even thumbs down no problem uh, just for the algorithm of YouTube and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet then uh, do so uh, that would be fantastic for my channel and for the uh, the rest of uh, crypto uh, on YouTube so again enjoy your weekend thanks for following me this week and I will see you with another video next time